Hello guys, Sidi here and welcome to my channel and for today's video, I am going to share with you my review after a week using my iPhone 11. So for those people na, by the way pala, for those people na hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel for more informative contents and please like this video kung nasiyahan ka sa video ng ito. <laughs> Okay, so sa video na to, I'm going to share with you my experience while using the phone for a week. So, before anything else, ginagamit ko na phone pala before was iPhone 10. So, iPhone 10, medyo maliit yung size. Then, itong iPhone 11 naman, medyo malaki siya. So, yung grip ng kamay ko, tsaka yung, sorry guys, may white out. Yung hawak ng kamay ko sa phone na iPhone na iPhone 10 is sakto lang. So kapag magsoswipe ako sa finger, na sa screen pala, gamit ang thumb ko, reachable siya. But medyo na hindi bago ako sa paggamit ng iPhone 11, it's because medyo malaki siya. Malaki yung mahaba pala siya. And yung screen same din naman. Pero sometimes kapag nagba-browse ako ng example, nagba-browse ako sa Facebook, so, it's a little bit, you know, uh, medyo ano siya, medyo, sa, sa ilalim kapag nag-scroll down ka, okay naman, pero kapag sa taas, kapag if you want to choose something, yung, yung, like yung mga options sa taas, medyo kailangan mo ng grip. Pero, merong feature si iPhone na para ma-reach mo yung taas ng application na binabrowse mo or sa loob ng app, swipe down mo lang ng konti dito. Ayan, tapos, pwede mo na siyang ma, um, ma kuha or ma, ma pindot yung option na gusto mo sa app na yun. Okay? So, battery wise, okay naman yung iPhone 11 when it comes sa battery kasi it's like all day use. So, chinarch ko siya kinagabihan and then in the morning it's like uh hindi nga abot ng 100% at to be honest eh. means on 88% pero pag uwi ko ng bahay around 7:30 or 8:30 ng gabi it still has like 35% so battery life it's much better compared sa iPhone 10 okay so sa storage naman Ang iPhone 11 ko, meron siyang 64GB, although may other options kang kukunin. The reason na kinuha ko lang is 64GB, it's because meron akong cloud storage, which is 200GB. So, 200GB, it's too much na. Kasi yung benefit lang kasi kapag nag-iCloud ka, or ginagamit mo yung iCloud service ng Apple is, kung gusto mo mag-transfer sa another device, like what I did, from iPhone 10 to iPhone 11, mariretrieve ko yung mga files. Kapag hindi ka nag... Uh, na, uh, mariretrieve ko yung files na nandun na sa cloud. Pero kapag hindi ka bumili or nag-subscribe or ginamit mo lang talaga yung, sir, yung, yung free uh, storage ng iCloud which is 5GB and then yung example, yung um, current iPhone mo before was 256GB. Uh, so, ang mangyayari dun is hindi mo mababack up lahat-lahat kapag gusto mong i for or i for i back up doon sa sa current uh, iCloud mo. Not unless magpo-purchase ka. Okay? Nang mas mataas. So yung iCloud kasi meron silang uh, option eh like 50 GB, 200 GB and then 1 terabyte which is uh, subscription yun every month. So if I'm with you guys, kapag may iPhone kayo and then you have exceeded 5 GB, then better purchase an an, an iCloud storage. It's affordable naman eh. So, yun nga, kapag nagre-rely ka lang sa internal without um, utilizing the iCloud, then probably kapag gusto mong mag-restore so lahat ng mga ng mga pictures mo or or mga mga videos mo sa, sa gallery will be deleted. So, yeah. iCloud. So, advice ko sa inyo guys, if you have an iCloud, an iOS device, you should have at least 200 GB kung mahili kayo mag-take ng pictures or videos. Kasi internal storage is not enough to be honest. Especially kapag gusto nyo mag-migrate 
or eventually nag-transition kayo sa Android and then gusto yung ma-retrieve yung mga pictures. So, kailangan nyo talaga ng iCloud kasi higher storage ang for nila at affordable naman. Okay, so na-mention ko yung, yung build. Second is the uh, yun, yung um, accessibility. Then, yung ano yung memory, internal storage niya. So, next ka naman na i-discuss is yung yung other feature nito, which is water resistant. Although yung iPhone 10 ko was water resistant, this can last up for one, um, one to two minutes. Oh, no, no one, to two, no. one to two meters for 30 minutes sa tubig. But, Hindi ko ka, uh, it's not advisable na, of course, na, na ilublog yun sa tubig, di ba? Pero, just in case, accidentally. So, water resistant to guys. And, other thing na na-notice ko is, um, yung camera. Of course, this is their main selling point. Because other Android devices, they have already the ultra-wide angle lens to their uh, phone make. Uh, phone models like Samsung, meron na silang ultra-wide. Ever since wala pa yung ultra-wide dito sa iPhone, meron na sila. But, before, hindi talaga ako interested sa ultra-wide. But then again, I just really appreciate how Apple uh, 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 apply this type of camera lens sa kanilang device, which is really, uh, yung kinalabasan ng product is really maganda naman talaga. And, yung ultra-wide feature na to is um, how can I say this? Maganda. Hindi siya super, pero maganda kasi when I notice, kapag mag-ultra-wide angle ka kapag gabi, gagamitin mo itong ultra-wide angle sa gabi, medyo yung quality ng picture, it's like parang siyang ano, parang painting siya. Parang, hindi naman blurred, pero parang yung quality niya, it's like parang video na nanonood ka ng video na yung quality ng video na pinapanood mo is 720p. Ganon. Hindi siya gaano ka high definition kumbaga. Pero, yung ultra-wide angle kapag umaga, kapag gagamitin mo siya sa umaga, maganda siya. Superb. I have some pictures on my Facebook account, on my Instagram account. Marami akong pictures na sample ng ultra-wide angle. Pwede nyo makita doon. Okay. So, camera naman, meron silang, uh, meron si Apple na in-implement dito sa camera niya, which comes Sa before kasi, wala silang night mode. Ngayon, meron ng night mode ang iPhone 11. At saka sa I- iPhone Pro, meron din silang old, uh, night mode. So, um, sa night mode, kapag uh, gabi, of course, night nga, di ba? <laughs> or madilim, <laughs> um, kapag dim light lang ang ginagamit mo, and then you activate the night mode, the quality of the picture is maganda, maliwanag siya. So, I have some sample of the pictures also on my Instagram account. You can check that, okay? I made a comparison between night mode, with night mode, and without night mode. Ganun. So, performance-wise, uh, hindi talaga ako dun, um, what do you call this? Hindi talaga ako obs- uh, ma- mahilig sa mga games. Pero I can see that Parang ganun din yung yung ano yung yung speediness, it's just the same. It's just sabi ni Apple, ang ginagamit nila ditong processor is A13 Bionic. Before uh, that was a A12 ata, A11, ganun. So ngayon is A13 Bionic chip. And also, uh, last time I made a review as well with the eSIM capability of iPhone 11. So for those people na hindi alam kung ano yung eSIM, cool sila, I also write a blog about it. I wrote a blog about it sa aking website. You can check that out. I'll put the link below. And yeah, eSIM. So last time I made a promise na mag uh, gagawa ko ng video for the eSIM installation, but for some reason, uh, hindi ko siya <laughs> na, na record kasi it's, it was on the spot. But sorry guys, uh, meron din naman ako ano, uh, blog about it. You can read it if you want. 
So, eto na. Na-install ko na yung Virgin Mobile eSIM sa phone ko. So, as you can see, dalawa na yung SIM ta sa taas. And that's yung nakikita nyo. Yan. Virgin Mobile and Ate Salat. So, yeah. I'm using Virgin Mobile for data kasi yung Ate Salat ko, as what I have said before, I'm a uh, uh, data, heavy data user. So, 18, uh, ano na ngayon? October 18 na. Pero, ang natira na lang sa Virgin Mobile data ko is, guess what? 100 megabytes. Sa clap. Ganyan ako uh, gumamit ng data. 2GB pa lang, one week, ubos na. Ewan ko ba bakit anong, anong nangyayari sa akin? Meron namang wifi sa bahay. Rason ko is, I'm, use, I'm watching YouTube and chatting and chatting and chatting while inside the bus. But anyways, yan lang naman ang luho ko. That's all. And yeah. Next is um yung speediness siguro. Yan na mention ko before. Pero yung speediness dito sa ano, sa device na to medyo mabilis ng konti. Yeah. Tsaka sa face ID kapag mag unlock ka ng device mabilis din. Sabi nila. Pero I can see, okay nga, oh, mabilis nga, compared sa iPhone 10 ko before. But, maybe, siguro sa recent update sa iOS 13, siguro parang ganun din. Pinabilis nila or pinaoptimize nila. Okay. So guys, this is a raw vlog. It's not scripted. Kung ano lang ang naiisip ko, ito lang sinasabi ko in front of the camera. Okay? Pakaisipin nyo may binabasa ako wala. Uh, ano pa ba? Productivity-wise, so, sa, sa, as, as a vlogger, uh, I, I really need to monitor the traffic on my website. I need to check uh, the conversions, the bounce rate of my website. So, I download an app which is made by Google. It's Google Analytics. So, dito sa device na to, I can easily monitor the Google Analytics. I can download the YouTube Studio here, of course, to create some thumbnails, um, monitor the AdSense growth, the CPM and CTR, and so on. And I can see that kapag nag edit ako or may, may, may I'm doing some, or I'm making some changes sa blog ko dito sa phone, mabilis nga compare nga sa iPhone 10. Kasi iPhone 10 that was they released 2 years ago eh. 2 years or a year ago, yeah, ganun. Yeah, 2 years ago na that was the first launch eh, kasi it's going to be 2 years on this coming February eh. So yeah, 2 years na nga yung iPhone ko tagal ah. Yung iPhone 10 ko. Yeah. So ano pa nga ba? Yun, uh, when it comes to productivity, and synchronization mas easy siya guys I mean I am using an Apple ecosystem so if I'm going to transfer some documents or reports from my phone nag email si boss I need to transfer the PDF to the device sa, sa MacBook pwede pwede without using any internet connection as long as yung wifi connected lang pwede ako mag airdrop instantly marireceive ko ng laptop ko in a span of seconds lang if I'm going to upload some pictures write a content about it I'm going to share the pictures on my Mac it's just easy as 1, 2, 3 airdrop lang and then kalas nandun na sa computer and then I can upload it directly sa blogger Sa AirPods naman, this is the good thing of Apple ecosystem. There are things which is good and bad. For example, if you've been using an Apple for a long time, it's really hard for you to move out and use other ecosystem like Android ecosystem. Sa Apple kasi, it, it's a walled garden of Apple, meaning once, you've, once you're using Apple, there's no way out, as others might said. Because... Um, the thing that I can, ito, ito kasi kasi, the reason I cannot move 
to another ecosystem, it's because of the productivity level. It's not like that. Hoy, hoy, it's Apple, so I have to because it's a luxury brand. If someone will say, or will, will say that you are using a, an iPhone or you are using an Apple MacBook, it's classy, you're rich. No, it's not like that. Uh, the reason for me I bought an Apple, it's because of the productivity. Okay? Let's say may kamahalan naman talaga yung Apple, pero it's for a long, uh, lifetime. It, there's a value in it. So, yung ginawa ko kasi sa Apple iPhone 10 ko before I sold it for this amount. Kasi yung Apple iPhone 10 before, that was the most expensive phone before. It was like 4,000 dirhams. So, when I sold it and I decided to buy iPhone 11, I was really surprised because the price of the device didn't depreciate 70%. Unlike other devices, mobile phones, na they just recently launched today and eventually if they're going to uh, uh, if the, the if the person wants to sell this and they want to buy another one, the price will depreciate as easier as much. Com- uh, excuse me, com- compared sa excuse me sa iPhone 11. Basta ako guys, sorry naman. Okay, so yun nga guys. Um, if you want to invest into a phone, kasi sabi nila ha, hindi hindi ako nagsabi. Sabi nila, iPhone is like a gold kapag tumatagal yung price you have the assurance to sell it a bit higher or it much uh, it, it it comes with a high cost compared sa android devices which is na prove ko yon it's because nagulat nga ako sa iPhone 10 eh 64 GB tapos ito yung amount half of it yeah so yun nga and um, what else Ah, yeah. Ito palang nangyari. Kasama din to sa after one week review ko. For some reason, uh, Apple, uh, iTunes charged me for 204 dirhams. So, 204 dirhams, that's equivalent to... Let's say, ang palitan ngayon sa peso is 14.5. iTunes charged me 2,958. Uh, because here's what happened uh, I tried a trial app then after three days I'm sure that I canceled before the trial ends but for some reason na charge ako and then I told the uh, Apple support uh, the good thing of the, the good thing with Apple is they have the after sales support and they have they also have this Apple support which is already built in on the app if you purchase an iPhone it's already in there so Nag-message ako sa kanila, sabi ko, uh, for some reason, um, this app charged me 204 dirhams, even I cancel the trial, or I think I'm not, I'm unsure about it, I, I already explained my side to them, but, but of course, Apple is very nice <laughs> to me, so they consider that they can make a refund on that trial app. So, yeah, after five business days, banking business days, na balik na nila yung pera ko sa account, which is superb, which, which is good. Um, after sale service nila, kapag may problema ka sa iyong device, isang tawag lang sa kanila, and then they can help you as uh, as long as na, uh, na kaya nila over the phone. Technical, kapag may technical problem over the phone, kaya din nilang i-assist. So yeah, I was I was expecting that you know, yung yung service nila over the phone was like parang I didn't manage their expectation. I didn't manage their the, the expectation with them that ito yung mangyayari but on the long run, maganda yung service nila. Ano pa nga ba? Um productivity Camera quality. Uh, what else? Battery. Nasabi ko na din. 
yung speediness, yung processor, okay na din. What else? Um, ano pa nga ba? Ah, yung speaker pala. Oh, yeah. Before yung iPhone 10, it comes with Dolby. Dolby Atmos. So, for those people na nanonood ng sinehan, Dolby Atmos, it's like a surround sound sa sinehan. But, sa mobile phone, Dolby formatted Dolby Atmos sa iPhone 11 so that it can produce a 5.1 serial sound just by just using your headphone or AirPods or just regular headphones lang connected to your device powered by Dolby Atmos. And sa iPhone 10 before that was dual speakers, dual stereo speakers, but dito sa iPhone 11 meron siyang spatial audio. So yung spatial audio guys means di ba kapag ito yung yung speakers natin, dual speaker siya stereo. Parang dito lang lumalabas yung sound. Noon sa iPhone 10 yan ha, dito lang lumalabas yung sound. Pero sa iPhone 11, may spatial sound siya. So, you can feel that the sound is not, is not also, it, it doesn't also pass on the both sides of the device. But, nafe-feel mo na nandito sa gitna. Parang may sound din siya. So, parang, just think about soundbar. Parang ganun yan. Parang soundbar siya, guys. Mayroon dito, sa kabila, and then may sound din sa gitna. It's like a, Special nga, ba? S-P-A-T-I-A-L. Hindi special, ha? Ganun. So, special sound. Tsaka, ginagamit ko to sa banyo, guys, kapag naliligo ako. Nagpapamusic ako gamit ang phone na to. So, I don't need to worry about water damage because water resistant nga siya. So, one time nahulog to sa bathtub, actually. Nag-overnight ako sa friend ko. Then, for some reason, nag-shower ako and then gusto kong palitan yung music and then eventually parang nasleep ko ata. Pumasok siya sa ano sa bathtub. <laughs> Nagpe-play yung song then may bula-bula dito sa speaker, sa speaker grill. <laughs> Nakatawa. Kaya pa ako din nakalako. Hello my god, parang ano yung sound, umiba na kasi parang parang ano na siya kulob na yung sound then I'll just I I let it dry and then kinaumagahan. Okay naman, ba? Balik sa normal. Yeah. So, um, what else? LTE. LTE support. So, I thought iPhone 11, may mga rumors na they're going to release an LTE device. Sadly, hindi siya. L- I, I mean, 5G pala. 5G, de- 5G device for iPhone iPhone 11 may 5G capable daw siya. That was only a rumor but still sad to hear LTE siya. LTE. Pero it doesn't matter with the speediness kasi LTE nandito naman sa UAE or dito ako sa UAE ngayon so yung internet speed is okay. You can say that LTE mabilis nga. Pero kapag you are keen to internet speed, then you need to buy other devices. Yung Huawei, meron na silang 5G capable device, which is uh, the price starts from 3000 ata. Yeah, 5G na siya. And then around Abu Dhabi, Dubai, meron mga 5G hotspot where you can enjoy using the service within that area. I'm not sure dito sa Abu Dhabi, guys, if there's 5G hotspot. Um, saan yung 5G hotspot? Pero meron eh. Yung isang telecom provider dito, meron silang pre-novide na hotspot within these places. Pero, regardless, I'm good with 4G LTE. Ang importante, may internet at saka hindi nagbabuffer yung Netflix at saka YouTube. Okay na ako dun. Yeah, so I guess that's a wrap-up. That's my one-week review of iPhone 11. So, I hope you guys may natutunan, may, na, may nakuha kayong information regarding this. At saka, to, to wrap it up, if you are looking for a phone, an Apple device, affordable, you can go with iPhone 11. Kasi guys, to be honest, yung feature ng iPhone 11, 
Pro at iPhone 11, they're just the same. The only thing which is different was the camera because yung camera ng iPhone 11, tatlo, may ultra wide angle, may telephoto camera, and then may yung normal camera, tatlo lang, may telephoto, normal at saka yung ultra wide. Pero dito, may normal at saka ultra wide. Uh, yung telephoto, it's up to you guys kasi parang adjustable naman yun, parang zoom din yun. Telephoto lens. Dito sa akin, yung gusto ko dito is yung ultra wide. And sa camera, sa camera, sa front, sa selfie, meron tayong tinatawag na slow fee. Yung slow fee, the other version of slow-mo sa front, which is kapag gusto mong mag-record ng video na slow-mo sa harap, pwede mong magamit na yung camera sa, sa front cam. And also, yung um, camera din sa harap, may, ultra, may para siyang ultra wide hindi ko siya masasabing ultra wide pero parang nagiging wide yung yung ano yung 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 space no malawak siya i'll give you an example so ito yung normal di ba normal siya kapag gusto mo nagawin parang ultra wide ng konte ultra wide pipindutin mo sa gitna ayan see the difference normal and kapag wide, ayan. Ayan siya, guys. So, yeah, that's it for now. I hope, again, guys, may natutunan kayo dito sa video na to after a week review. So, it's up to you guys if you want to purchase iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11. For me, I can... I really highly, uh, I, I really recommend iPhone 11. It's because of when it comes to productivity, the camera for day-to-day -day use. Pwedeng pwede to para sa iyo. And also, there is a lot of colors to choose from. Meron siyang product red. Meron siyang, hindi ko sure kung ano talaga yung pangalan ng kulay. Pero blue, parang violet na parang silver. White, of course. Tapos, meron pang iba. I think anim sila eh. Ganun. Funky colors nga, kumbaga. It's like a resemblance of iPhone 5C. Ganun. So, that's it for my after a week review of iPhone 11. Guys, um, for any comments or opinions, comment below. And, of course, don't forget to like this video. Kung nasiyahan ka or nagustuhan mo yung video, kapag hindi, opinion. <laughs> and also, for more uh, informative contents, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Sadie, and thanks for watching my video. Bye-bye.